viewers welcome to my channel and uh, today's topic is uh, underactive uh, pituitary gland or also known as the uh, hyperpituitarism you know and uh, but before starting this topic i would like uh, to request you to like subscribe and share these videos and if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit our website www dot diseases and treatment dot com and uh, alternatively you can click the link in the description uh, which will lead you uh, to the website now <clears throat> the first thing is what is uh, underactive uh, pituitary gland or hyperpituitarism you know uh, the pituitary gland is located uh, underside of the brain you know and uh, it releases eight type of hormones and uh, each of those hormones play an important function you know and uh, those include like uh, uh, adenocorticotropic uh, uh, hormone which is known as ACTH uh, you know and uh, like uh, antidiuretic hormone or uh, follicle stimulating hormones growth hormones Alternizing hormones, uh, prolactin, oxytocin, and uh, thyroid stimulating hormone known as TSH. You know, so these are the eight types of the hormones which are released by the uh, pituitary glands. Now, the uh, hypopituitarism occurs when the pituitary gland does not release the NF of one or the more of these hormones. Uh, it's known as the uh, underactive uh, uh, pituitary gland or hypopituitarism. You know? Now, the next thing is, what are the causes uh, of the underactive pituitary gland? Well, uh, the trauma of the injury uh, may cause the pituitary gland to stop producing the NF of one of these hormones, you know, or more of these hormones. And uh, the example that I if you had a brain injury, your brain infection or a head injury may affect your, uh, the ability of the pituitary gland, you know. And uh, the certain tumors can also affect the function of this gland, and this may include like uh, uh, brain tumors or the pituitary uh, gland tumors or uh, stroke or uh, like uh, blood loss during the childbirth, you know, and uh, radiation treatments and the traumatic injury to the newborn babies, you know, infants, and the children. So, these are the common causes of the uh, hyperpituitarism, you know, of the underactive uh, pituitary gland, you know. <coughs> And there may be other causes, and uh, some causes of the uh, may be unknown, you know. Now, the next thing is, what are the symptoms? Well, uh, the symptoms of the uh, uh, hyperpituitarism depend on which hormone uh, is not producing, you know. And uh, the example of the lab, if uh, the pituitary glands does not produce enough growth hormones, uh, and uh, like uh, uh, they may be be uh, the permanently short stature of the child you know and uh, if it does not produce the enough folic stimulating hormones or the retinizing hormones you know it might cause the problems uh, with the sexual function and menstruation and the infertility you know and so these are the symptoms you know so it depends on you know, which type of the hormones are uh, 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 not uh, produced enough, you know, required by the body, you know. And uh, uh, the next thing is, uh, how do the doctors diagnose that someone is suffering from the uh, hypopituitarism? Well, your doctor, uh, if the doctor thinks you may have the uh, underactive uh, pituitary gland, you know, and they will use the blood tests to check your levels of the hormones and uh, uh, which are produced by the pituitary glands you know and uh, they may also check for the hormones uh, uh, which are uh, your pituitary gland stimulates uh, other glands to release you know and the example is your doctor may check the t4 levels so uh, so your uh, pituitary gland does not produce this hormone uh, but it releases the thyroid stimulating hormone you know and which stimulates your thyroid gland to release the T4. So having low levels of the T4 indicates that you may have problem with your pituitary gland. 
and your doctor um, prescribe the specific medication before doing the surgery right? and these medications will stimulate your body's production of the specific hormone and uh, uh, taking them before the uh, test can help your doctor better understand your pituitary gland functions you know and uh, once your doctor determine uh, which hormone levels are low they must check the parts of your body and uh, those uh, hormones affect like sometimes uh, uh, the problem is not when the pituitary gland uh, with the pituitary gland but uh, other uh, target organs you know and your doctor may perform uh, imaging tests and the ct scans or the mri uh, of your brain you know and these tests can help to uh, the doctor f figure out if there is any tumor in that specific area which is affecting and that's and the production of the hormones you know. uh, now the next thing is uh, the treatment you know you know once diagnosed uh, then other uh, what are the treatment options you know and uh, you know this condition is the best managed by the endocrinologist and uh, these are the doctors who deal with the uh, hormone uh, related uh, diseases you know and uh, there is no single course of treatment because uh, this condition may affect the number of hormones you know and in general the goal of the treatment is to bring your hormone levels back to the normal you know and this may involve taking medications uh, to replace the hormones your pituitary gland is not producing uh, and uh, in this case your doctor will need to check your hormone level regularly and this allows your doctor to adjust the doses of the medications uh, to keep the hormone levels within the normal limits you know and if a tumor is the cause uh, cause of the pituitary uh, that uh, which is affecting the uh, production of hormones are affecting on the pituitary glands you know and then the surgery to remove that tumor uh, is the uh, treatment option you know and in some cases getting rid of the tumor will uh, also involve the radiation therapy you know and so the it may be the medications maybe the surgery or maybe the radiation therapy the treatment options you know uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease any medical condition you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos everything goodbye